Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with a new topic and this is very important topic in English grammar. Chapter 4, Pronoun. What is a pronoun? A pronoun is a word that replaces a noun in a sentence. Pronouns are used to avoid repeating the same nouns. The definition is very clear here. Pronoun is a word that replaces a noun in a sentence. We have already studied what is a noun. Noun is very important in the sentence. So here we are replacing a noun by using a pronoun. Why we want to replace the noun? Because pronouns are used to avoid repeating the same nouns. Sometime in a sentence the nouns may repeat. To avoid those repeating nouns, we are using pronoun. In short, we can tell pronouns are used instead of nouns. Here are some pronouns. I, me, mine, she, he, it, we, us, etc. There are so many other pronouns are there that we are going to study in this video. Before that, let us look one example. Raju and Sheila are friends. Raju liked to work with Sheila. Raju and Sheila did many projects together. Grammatically, these sentences are correct. There is no error. But the people who are speaking or who are hearing these sentences, they are not comfortable with this because the nouns Raju, Sheila, these both nouns are repeating many times. Just look at down. Raju and Sheila are friends. He liked to work with her. They did many projects together. So when we read the second set of sentences, there are little bit of changes. Raju and Sheila are friends. He liked to work with her. Instead of Raju, I added one word, he. And instead of Sheila, I added one word, her. And in the next sentence, they did many projects together. Instead of both of them, I added another one word, they. So, the words which added newly there are the pronouns. Which means, those pronouns replaced the nouns which was already used there. So when we are using the pronouns like this, it looks very easy to understand and very easy to pronounce. So this is the importance of the pronoun which is using in the sentence. It will be helping to us to replace the noun which is repeating there. So here we are going to study six types of pronouns. The first one is personal pronouns, second one demonstrative pronouns, third one interrogative pronouns, fourth one indefinite pronouns, fifth one possessive pronouns and the sixth one reflexive pronouns. So let us go to the first type of pronouns that is personal pronouns. Personal pronouns stand in for the people, animals or things. So mainly it stands for people, animals or things. So we have to note down three cases in the personal pronoun. That is subject pronoun, object pronoun and possessive pronoun. Here in the personal pronoun I will be dealing with only subject pronoun and object pronoun. The possessive pronoun is one type of pronoun which is already listed there that we will be discussing later. So in this personal pronoun, let us study what is subject pronoun and what is object pronoun. To study personal pronoun, we have to just look at this table. In this personal pronoun, Three persons are there, first person, second person and third person. So, singular, plural, singular subject, plural subject, singular object and plural object. So, before that we should know what do you mean by subject. 
a subject is the doer of the action and object is the receiver of the action in a sentence a person who is doing the things are called subject means doer of the action and in a sentence a person who is receiving the action is called object that means receiver of the action most probably the place of the subject will be at the beginning of the sentence the place of the object will be at the end of the sentence so subject will be at the beginning and the object will be at the end here we are going to study some subject pronouns and some object pronouns in personal pronouns in the first person singular subject is i and singular object is me and the plural subject is we and the plural object is us and in the second person singular subject you singular object you plural subject you and plural object you in the second person we are using only one word you we can use as a singular as a plural and the subject and the object will be same and in third person singular subject he she it singular object him her it and in third person plural subject they and a third person plural object them so we are going to study or we are going to do the exercises based on this table in the personal pronouns here one example is there thomas gave chocolates to child thomas gave chocolates to child i just underline thomas here and as well as child so first of all we have to look these two are nouns thomas is a noun child also a noun so in this sentence thomas is the doer of the action because that is a subject thomas is doing the action gave chocolates and here child is the receiver of the action so thomas is the subject of the sentence and child is the object of the sentence so we are going to change this subject and object from this sentence and we are going to use one pronoun there in the subject place we are going to use one subject pronoun and in the object place we are going to use one object pronoun <coughs> so we are going we are using this subject pronoun and object pronoun based on this table first we can use first person second person third person as we like we can use we should remember one thing subject pronoun should be in the subject position and object pronoun should be in the object position first one i gave chocolates to them here i is a subject and them is an object so i is in the subject position and them is in the object position so first person singular subject is i i is the first person singular subject and them is the third person plural object let us check the table here first person singular subject i and third person plural object them so object should be in the object position and subject should be in the subject position let us check the another example you gave chocolates to him you is a subject here him is the object here she gave chocolates to us she is the subject here and us is the object here they gave chocolates to me they is the subject here and me is the object here so here we have used different persons first person second person third person as well as subject and object so everything this all examples are made from this table by using the subject pronoun and object pronoun so in the personal pronoun we have to just take care of the subject pronoun and the object pronoun and should use in a proper place subject means the doer of the action object means the receiver of the action so subject should be at the beginning and the object should be at the end let us come to the second types of pronouns that is demonstrative pronouns demonstrative pronouns are used for pointing out things if we want to point out something it should be near to us otherwise it should be far away from us 
we are pointing out the things which is near to us and which is far away from us for that we are using a particular word that is called demonstrative pronouns let us see some examples this is my bag this is the word used there as a demonstrative pronoun to point out the thing this is my bag this which is near to us and it is singular these are her clothes these it is plural and which is near to us that is peter's house that which is singular which is far away from us those are migrating birds it is plural and which is far away from us the first two sentences the words which is used there this and these which is near to us and the third and fourth sentences the words which is used that those which is far away from us okay so these are the examples of demonstrative pronoun to point out the things these are the words which we are using for the demonstrative pronoun to point out the things let us come to the third types of pronoun interrogative pronouns interrogative pronouns are used to ask questions to gain information if we want to gain information we have to ask questions so the question types of sentences are called interrogative pronoun to ask questions to gain information here few examples are there who is your favorite teacher who is the word used here as an interrogative pronoun which is the best team what is your number when is your birthday these all words here used as an interrogative pronoun to ask questions to gain information let us come to the fourth one indefinite pronouns indefinite pronouns do not refer to any specific person thing or amount it is not referring to a specific person it's uh, generally talks about and it's not definite here one tip is there for you some any every no body one thing where by using this we can make 18 indefinite pronouns that is somebody someone something somewhere anybody anyone anything anywhere everybody everyone everything everywhere nobody no one nothing nowhere by like this we can make 18 indefinite pronouns using this when these compounds are subjects they are singular and they take singular verbs that is very important we have to take when these compounds are using in the sentence and when these compounds becomes of subjects they are in singular so we have to always take singular verbs they represent or they belong to the category of singular so we have to use singular verbs with them here few examples are there someone knows where she is here someone is underlined there it is indefinite pronoun look like it is plural but it is singular someone it is representing only one someone it is not representing representing the whole second one everybody loves molly everybody means every single body so looks like it is plural but actually it is singular because it is uh, representing a singular because it is telling each and everything point by point everybody every single body that's why we have to use singular verbs with this indefinite pronouns everything was ready for the party everything means every single thing everything was ready for the party the house was nowhere near the sea these are the uh, examples of indefinite uh, pronouns and should take always singular verbs with them fifth one is possessive pronouns a possessive pronoun is a pronoun that is used to indicate possession or ownership to show the possession or to show the ownership we are using possessive pronouns so possessive pronouns also will be coming uh, under personal pronoun but we are just uh, dividing it in separate 
so we can make it uh, in uh, three persons uh, this possessive pronoun also uh, that is mine ours yours his hers its theirs so th these examples are uh, these are the words which we are using as a possessive pronouns and we can keep in the category of uh, persons first person second person and third person uh, first person singular mine uh, first person plural ours second person singular and plural yours third person singular his hers its and third person plural theirs let us come to some examples uh, this laptop is mine that house is yours the bird is ours the car is theirs so these all pronouns is used here to show the possession or ownership let us come to the sixth one reflexive pronoun reflexive pronouns are objects that refer to the subject here reflexive pronouns we are using as an object but one condition that should agree with the subject we have to check which subject is used as a which subject is used in a sentence that same subjects a reflexive object should be there for the reflexive or reflexive pronouns so reflexive pronouns are objects that refer to the subject uh, here are some pronouns are there uh, myself ourselves yourself yourselves himself herself itself themselves here uh, selves are there or selves are there what is difference between self and self myself yourself himself herself itself these all self represent singular so if the subject is singular its reflexive pronouns also should be singular so myself it is singular yourself it is singular himself herself itself these all are singular then selves represents plural ours selves yours selves themselves here we can see yourself and yourselves you we can use for singular and you we can use for plural if it is singular we can use yourself and if it is plural we have to use yours selves let us come to some examples first one she usually talks to herself in front of the mirror here what is the subject she is a subject here so when she becomes a subject its object should be herself because subject should agree with the object so she usually talks to herself in front of the mirror so when she became its uh, reflexive pronoun will be herself david read quietly to himself david when david instead of david we can use he also no problem here david read quietly to himself so when david came here we have to use himself we can trust in ourselves we is a subject here that's why its reflexive pronouns ourselves it became object here the students can monitor themselves the students it is plural that's why uh, plural object should be there uh, themselves so the students that will be uh, they instead of they we can use the students can monitor themselves so uh, this is the uh, these are the things we have to just note down in uh, reflexive uh, pronoun reflexive pronouns are objects that refer to the subject so it should refer to the subject what subject is used there its reflexive pronoun should be there used as an object here so these are the six uh, types of pronouns which we are studied so now practice work is there work at home identify the pronouns which is underlined in the sentences so we have to just identify the sentences uh, we, we have to just identify the pronouns which is underlined in the sentences already pronouns are underlined there uh, we have to just identify what types of pronouns are there first one those pens are hers no one has done the homework this was our last project where is your room you are my friend i thought about myself something has happened in the city that bag is his you try to write by yourself why are you crying these are my chocolates so hell kill them already pronouns are underlined there so we have to just identify what types of pronouns are there so based on this uh, six types of pronoun just find out what types of pronoun 
are there so i hope you understood this class thank you